Hello and welcome to another mod showcase. Today we're looking at the Hybrid Aquatic mod. This mod is for Fabric 1.20.1. It adds in a ton of new marine life and a few new items to the game. I've grouped all the mods into different categories and we're going to go over them briefly. So with that, let's get on with the showcase. So the first category of fish is the small fish. These fish when killed will drop themselves and when you put it in a crafting table it will give you small fish meat. Small fish meat when raw will give one hunger bar and when cooked will give two. These fish include the lionfish, rockfish, blue spotted stingray, needlefish, piranha, anglerfish. This wind kill will also drop glow slime. We'll talk about this item later. The barrel eye. This also drops glow slime. Blue tang, clownfish, unicornfish, cowfish, triggerfish, tiger barb, and oscar. There are three more small fish, but these ones will drop small fish meat directly instead of dropping themselves. These are the flashlight fish, ratfish, and dragonfish, which dragonfish will also drop glow slime. Our next category is the big fish. These fish when killed will drop themselves and you can craft it into just fish meat. This one raw will give two hunger bars and cooked will give four. These include the mahi mahi, yellowfin tuna, oarfish, and sunfish. The first two will drop themselves and the last two will drop the big fish meat directly. These next two fish when killed will drop themselves but they cannot be turned into big or small fish meat. And they cannot be cooked. These include the opa and the moray eel. When eaten they will both give one hunger bar. These next fish when killed will drop a tentacle. Tentacle when eaten raw will give one hunger bar and cooked will give two. These include the cuttlefish which will also drop an ink sack. The vampire squid which will also drop an ink sack. The nautilus which will also drop a nautilus shell. The glowing sucker octopus and the firefly squid, which will drop a glowing ink sack. The next category of fish do not drop anything at all. These include the sea angel, zebra fish, toadfish, tetra, stonefish, beta, seahorse, gurami, and discus. Our next category is the jellyfish. All of these jellyfish will give you poison when you're near them and will drop a slime ball. These jellyfish include the moon jellyfish, the sea nettle, the fried egg jellyfish, the cauliflower jellyfish, the nomura jellyfish, the blue jellyfish, the mauve jellyfish, the barrel jellyfish, the compass jellyfish, the lion's mane jellyfish, and the atolla jellyfish. The next category is the crabs. These when killed will drop crab claws. Crab claws can be put in a crafting table and turned into crab meat. Raw crab meat will give one hunger bar and cooked will give three. These crabs include the regular crab, the fiddler crab, and the hermit crab. And our next category is the sharks. All of these sharks when killed will drop two to four fish meat and a shark tooth, which I don't think actually does anything, but I could be wrong on that, so correct me if I am. These sharks include the bull shark, the basking shark, the thresher shark, the frilled shark, the great white shark, the tiger shark, the hammerhead shark, and the whale shark. All of these sharks are hostile except for the whale shark. And our last category is the miscellaneous fish. These aren't really fish at all and don't really belong to any category. These include the starfish, the sea cucumber, which will drop a slime ball, the nudibranch, branch, the sea urchin, and the giant clam. Alongside the fish, there's a couple items I want to talk about. Put six iron nuggets in a crafting table like this and you can make the barbed hook. If you put this item in your offhand, it will increase the speed at which you can catch fish during the day. If you combine this hook with a glow slime, you can make the glowing hook. If you put this in your offhand, it will increase the speed at which you catch fish at night. If you use three iron ingots and four iron nuggets, you can make the magnetic hook. This item, when put in your offhand, will increase the amount of treasure you find when fishing. If you use two sticks and two string, you can craft a fishing net which allows you to catch any fish. You can also get the live catch enchant on your fishing rod. A new enchant that makes it so when you catch a fish, you will catch the actual mob instead of the item. When fishing, you have a chance to catch up a message in a bottle. If you place this down and break it, it will give you a book that will have a random message inside. You can also find these bottles floating on the surface of the ocean. And you can find them in a jar and log neck bottle variant. You also have a chance to fish up a crate. You place these down and you must break them with an axe and you'll get a random item from them. Wandering traders now have a chance to sell shark plushies and they will cost 8 emeralds. And lastly you can now find an enemy box inside of coral reefs. Well thank you for watching this mod showcase. If you like this video or the mod give this video a thumbs up. If you want to see more from my content click hit the subscribe button and I'll see you when I upload next. Goodbye.